Okay, YouTube people, we are now taking a look at the Asus ROG Flow Z13, and we are using it in Thunderbolt eGPU mode. Now, you may recognize my custom Oros gaming box that I have uh, placed a 3060 Ti in, and a uh, pretty painless setup so far. Uh, plugged it in. Uh, this is a USA Best Buy version, and so far you can see that uh, not only are we getting power over the USB-C Thunderbolt cable, but we also are able to individually see the 3060 Ti and the 3050 Ti, and this was without touching any BIOS settings. Uh, I am now... I am in the MS Hybrid mode. I don't know what happens when I try to turn the MUX switch on. I imagine, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure what will happen. Uh, it p might still work, might not, but that's the mode I'm using right now. Um, the other thing worth noting here is the fact that uh, if you go to your graphics settings, uh, you can actually um, select individually whether you want to use uh, Intel uh, J graphics, the 3050 Ti, or the 3060 Ti. So, um, all looks pretty good on the eGPU front on this device. I'm going to do some more testing and see if there's much of a difference uh, in this in the GPU performance, eGPU for performance versus using it on some of the Surface devices, which uh, maybe there'll be some bottlenecks we didn't expect. And I don't know, it'll just be interesting to see if the Z13 with a faster CPU is able to get some better scores or if we're just going to be limited by the Thunderbolt port in certain tests. Okay, so I've run into my first problem here and that is that even though we are getting power uh, from the power delivery over the Thunderbolt port, it is treated as you know USB-C power, not full power, which means that we're being limited in our performance on the CPU. So it is, uh, even in manual mode, it's not doing much. Uh, performance mode as well, it's not uh, operating to the level that you would expect uh, it to be. So I'm, what I'm gonna try to do is to plug in both the Thunderbolt USB-C and also the, the uh, the Z13's normal AC power adapter both at once. Hopefully it doesn't fry. You know, it shouldn't. There <laughs> should be power circuitry on this. But we'll see if that fixes the issue and gives us full power while still using the eGPU. Okay, so by plugging in both the ROG Flow USB-C into the XG Mobile port and also leaving the Thunderbolt cable installed that is now getting us full performance uh, across the board so uh, it does look like eGPU works okay I was able to load up some games um, what I did just to be sure that I was using the right GPU was I just disabled the 3050 Ti uh, that way it's not using um, any resources uh, or confusing any of the games uh, so I would, can be sure that I'm using the right GPU when I do this testing. But uh, next let's go to the the uh, 3D Mark score and see how well this performs and compare it to something like the Surface Pro 8 which I've also used with this GPU. See what type of performance we get. Alright, so let's go ahead and run our Time Spy. Uh, in order to beat the Surface Pro 8 with this exact same uh, GPU, it's going to have to beat an 8096. Uh, I'm sure it will do it, um, but the question is by how much and will the graphics score actually be any higher um, or will it just be the CPU? Because we know the CPU is much more powerful, it's got a lot more watts, uh, but uh, we'll kind of see what the difference is. For reference, uh, the GPU score using the Surface Pro 8 was 8999 and the CPU score that it got was 5162. So uh, we'll go ahead and let this time spy run and see what it ends up with. Okay. 
Okay, so did it beat our Surface Pro 8 score? It did. Uh, 8497. The Surface got 8096. Um, however, it did get a better graphics score. Uh, the Surface Pro 8 got 8999. Uh, it's pretty much within margin of error, though. So uh, there's no better iteration of Thunderbolt in this machine than the Surface Pro 8. However, our CPU score got a 6914. Where on the Surface Pro 8, it got a 5162. Um, but, the, you know, the Surface Pro 8 is 11th gen. This is 12th gen and has a lot more thermal headroom. So, uh, thus the better score, equivalent GPU score. So, um, how does this compare to the XG Mobile 3080? Well, the XG Mobile 3080 was able to get 10,486 in a time spy test. So uh, take that with a grain of salt because while this is a desktop 3060 Ti, it was still competing against a mobile 3080. So uh, you could get a much better eGPU, although probably not anything much better than uh, this for the size. Uh, but, um, but yeah, eGPU seems to work. Uh, you probably are still going to have to plug in your XG Mobile. Uh, connector, which means you can't do a simple uh, USB-C connection that runs both power and Thunderbolt. Otherwise, your CPU is going to be severely limited because it will be running in its battery mode. So anyways, this has been a look at how Thunderbolt eGPU works with the uh, Z13 ROG Flow. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of videos on uh, all sorts of stuff. We'll see you next time.